Peace and love. Welcome. Come on in. Welcome to the dynasty. My beautiful ones. Let's get into this energy. Libra. Yes. My beautiful Libras. Anything that you need from me can be found in the description section below. One-on-one -on -one bookings as well as a link to your free natal chart. This is a pop-up breakfast. So welcome to another edition of Breakfast with Empress 444. Let's go ahead and have a bite together, all right? Let's see what's going on. Happy Kazemi energy. This is Kazemi energy with the moon in Libra. Let's have some breakfast. Let's talk about it. What's going on? We're going to start off with the makeshift. Beautiful ones. I want you to have the most beautiful this day. And of course, you know, I'll be back in for the week. But let's talk about it. I am protected by my host of angels, ancestors, and spirit guides as I channel these messages. Remember to take what is yours and to simply leave what is not. Yeah. Beautiful ones that have the window open. As you know, the birds like to talk and I like to listen, okay? So you'll hear life, lifing outside. And let's get into it. Let's see what Spirit has to say. We're starting off with the makeshift. These are people, places, persons, and things that may have something to do with you or your circumstance or situation. Take what is yours and leave what is not. Cards for Libra. Cards for Libra. Thank you, Spirit. Cards for Libra. Thank you. Uh-huh. Somebody could be a teacher. Uh-huh. Someone can teach. Uh-huh. Let's talk about it. You may have a teacher you need to connect with. What else, Spirit? Okay. What else? Anything else? Mm, okay. All right. More cards. All right. More cards, Spirit. Leave them. More cards. More cards. Leave them. More cards for you? Thank you. All right. Okay, let's get these together. See what spirit has for you, beautiful ones. See what spirit wants you to know as you go on about your day and on your way. Whenever this message meets and greets your eyes and ears, know that it is for you, okay? Take what is yours and leave what is not. But we're going to go ahead and tap in and get some confirmations. Uh-huh. Get some confirmations and see what spirit wants you to know about what's going on in this Kazemi energy, okay? In this Kazemi energy. All right. There we go with the machete. I don't know. I was going to call them paper machete deck, okay? But I've never called them that. But it's something about a machete. People are getting cut loose. Mm -hmm. People are getting cut off in this energy. Not just from you, but just in general. Somebody could, yeah, be getting cut loose, like I said. All right. What else? What else, Spirit? Cards for Libra. What else? Anything else for Libra, Spirit? Anything else? What else for Libra? Okay. What else? Okay, one more. One more shuffle. All right. Let's talk about it. Let's see what spirit has for you. Now, we're still working with a whole lot of cards. So, please know that the messages that came out are divine messages, beautiful ones. Uh-huh. Let's get this breakfast. Let's see what's going on. Whatever time it is in your neck of the wood, you eating breakfast, okay? Right about now. 
Let's see what's going on. People, places, persons, and things that have something to do with your situation. Don't try to make it fit. You know if it fits. You know if it's yours. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's see. Okay. These are your divine messages. Let's start off with these. Major insecurities. Somebody has major insecurities, all right? They hide them well is what I heard, okay? Full lips. Somebody can have full lips. Mm, yep. Return to cinders happening. Uh-huh. That came out in your reading. Last reading. Bus driver, okay? Somebody could drive a bus. You could know a bus driver. Tony is here. The name Tony Antonio, Anthony, Antoine, Ant, Tone, Anthony. I, I think I said that. Yeah. That's what I got. Teacher is here. Somebody could be a teacher. Sarah. The name Sarah. Sarah may be of significance to you. Millionaire is here. I'm talking to some millionaires. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Soon to be, if not already. But I know I have a millionaire watching me. I know that. California. California. Somebody could be from California. Nose ring is here. Somebody could have a nose ring. London. Somebody could be from London. Uh-huh. Or your name could be London. Sherry is here. Uh huh. The name Sherry, Sherry, Sharice, Cheryl, Sherelle. That's what I got. Security guard. Somebody could be a security guard. Sexy voice. Somebody could have a sexy voice. Okay. Loves crab. Somebody loves crab. Y'all love crab. Mm hmm. I just heard with garlic butter. Fake flossing. Somebody's out here fake flossing in the energy. Magic backfired. Yeah, it did. It definitely did. Uh, look, this is even more, more clarification. Loves books. Somebody loves to read. Somebody loves books. One night stand. Somebody is having one night stands or had a one night stand in the energy. Okay. Kitchen witch. Somebody's a kitchen witch. They are. They're in the kitchen with it. Dallas Cowboys. Somebody likes the Dallas Cowboys. Uh-huh. From Texas. Professional liar. Somebody is a professional liar. Okay. Cash money here. Cash money. Somebody may need some cash money. Cash money may be calling you. Uh-huh. You may get some cash money today. Single woman. Okay. <clears throat> Some of my divine feminines are single. Excuse me. Loves and Nikes and Jordans. You like Nikes? You like Jordans? Shoes, tennis shoes, sneakerhead. Okay, I'm a sneakerhead. Well dressed. Okay, some of you. Well, Libra. Well dressed. Libras are known to have their own rules when it comes to dressing, but whatever it is, you're gonna do it beautifully. Well dressed. Okay. Someone has kinky fetishes. Uh-huh. You do. Asia is here. Could be from Asia. You could know someone named Asia. Someone dreams of you, okay? And someone is 5150, all right? Cuckoo. Mm-hmm, yeah. Somebody's dreaming of you, and they 5150. Wow. You broke a karmic cycle, all right? Please know that's what you did. You broke a karmic cycle. The name Maurice is here. I'm getting Mo. I'm getting Marsha. I'm getting Maury. Maureen. Yeah, that's what I got. He wants to spoil you. Somebody wants to spoil you. I'm sorry. They said, I'm sorry. 
trust. Spirit is reminding you to trust. This is everything to do with, you know, your solar plex energy, which we talked about in the last reading, right? Know your worth. Know your worth. Has everything to do with trust. Know your worth, beautiful ones. Remember to keep your cool and calm. Yes, keep your cool, keep your calm. Mm -hmm. If you get upset, it don't last for long. Mm -hmm. Journal and manifest in this energy, beautiful ones. Take your journal out with you wherever it is you're going. If you're at home today, make sure that you're writing down what it is that you would like to see for yourself. Uh-huh, yeah, plant those seeds. Yeah, beautiful ones. Dance is here. Dance. If you have somewhere to cut loose, <laughs> do your thing, shake it up a little bit, do it, okay? It actually supports not only your sacral energy, okay, but it supports your root and your solar plex to move and wiggle around a little bit, right? Uh huh. A new passionate version of you is ready to arise. Uh huh. This is that new version of you. Real love scares them deeply. You could be dealing with someone who is frightened by real love because they never had it before, is what I'm getting. Uh huh. Not. Not that type. Not the type you've given out. Hug, therapy. Someone needs a hug, okay? You may need a hug. Uh-huh. It's okay to give a hug and it's okay to get a hug, beautiful ones. They have pictures of you in their phone for pleasure. Mm, I know we're not shocked about that, right? Paul, okay? It could be somebody named Paul. Uh-huh. Yeah. They pleasure themselves to your pictures. Chair exercises. Yeah, chair exercises. Easy to do. Mm -hmm. Wherever you are, take some time out. Even if it's just, you know, uh, moving your legs, your arms while sitting in the chair. Be careful, okay? Don't do it with a chair that has wheels. Trust me. They fell in love with you. Yeah, they fell in love. Mm -hmm. They are confused. Yeah, they're confused too. Someone fell in love with you and they're super confused about it. Touch and feel is your love language. Touch and feel love language. This is the love language you have. You like to be touched. You like to feel. You like to do the touching and you like to do the feeling and you want to be touched on and felt on as well. Movie day. And sometimes that's the medicine you need, okay? Just to let you know. No, movie day. Today is a good day for a movie. Make sure you're seeing something that's, you know, good. I don't know what's in the theaters, but movie day. Movie day. You need a movie day. It doesn't have to be today, but a movie day is in order is what I'm getting. Nurture your moon sign. Find out what your moon sign is, or I'm sure you do know, and nurture it. You can look this up on the internet and see how to nurture your moon sign. If you're a Virgo moon, for instance, you'll put in how to nurture a Virgo moon, okay? Purchase or read a book that supports your new path, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's only more manifestation, beautiful ones. When you work in the energy of things that support the area in which it is you look to excel in or even, you know, bring to you, you got to do things that are associated to it, all right? Sold you a fairy tale. Somebody sold you a fairy tale. Mm, they did. Shelly is here. Shelly. Shelly, Sherelle. I said you were earlier, but Michelle, Michelle. I got Marsha, but Shelle as well, okay? So Shelly is here. 
they want forgiveness. Somebody wants forgiveness in the energy. Major glow up in the energy. A major glow up, okay? Something is happening in the energy with you to where you're not going to look the same or even be seen, okay? To you, you may not notice the change, but others around you are going to see it, okay? Or have even told you you're different. There's something different about you. He wants to provide for you for life. <clears throat> hey, I believe it, okay? He want to spoil you already came out, okay? Somebody wants to provide for you. Somebody wants to just let you do your thing. Uh-huh. Yeah. Block them. If somebody in the energy needs to be blocked, all right? She will teach you true love. Yeah. She, okay? So that's for my divine masculines. She will teach you true love. Mirror work. There's some mirror work that needs to happen. Okay? Spend about 15 minutes in the mirror and speak positive affirmations to yourself. You don't have to do it for the first 15. You could look at yourself for the first five and look at all the things you like about yourself. This is mirror work. Okay? Look at what it is you love about yourself. I like my lips. I like my eyes. I like my cute ears. You know, and say these things to yourself. Yeah. And sit there and appreciate them. Our stand, okay? This is what spirit wanted you to know in this energy, okay, beautiful ones? Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's talk. I'm going to tap into this energy. Let me get these cards back in their bag. I'm going to tap into this energy of hmm, the price of love. Uh huh. The price of love. Let's go ahead and tap into the price of love and see what how much it costs today. <laughs> Let's see how much we paying for love today. Because there's a price to everything, beautiful ones. It is. Unfortunately, ain't nothing free in life. Mm-mm. Because if it took your time to go get it, it still took your time. And your time is what? Money. Let's talk about it. Price of Love Oracle. Cards for Libra. Cards for Libra. Cards for Libra. This isn't going to be a long read, but it'll be a strong read. Cards for Libra. Wow, where are we? Is that 18 minutes in? My goodness. Cards for Libra. Thank you. Wow. Romance. Look, I can't hold you. It's Kazemi energy. Y'all get out there and make sure you're in the right place at the right time, okay? And if some of you aren't getting out, make the connection, all right? Be careful with the online internet dating thing. Be careful with it. But hey, if you want to holler at somebody or you see somebody cute, go ahead and put that romance in the air. It's just not going to chase you down, okay? Yeah, and if it's chasing you down like that, something wrong. I would run, okay? Let's talk about it. Romance is something that feels sweet and subtle, okay? Communication is here. Yeah, communication. I just said what I said, y'all. There's some communication in the energy, okay? Even if you have to make the communication, uh-huh. Cards for Libra, tell the story. Tell the story, what else is in the energy? It's already in the energy, okay? So, love. Wow, this is some Kazemi energy for sure. I love it. And I spoke about the rose quartz, right? With the gold last night, okay? So, if you have a piece of rose quartz, beautiful ones, put it in your pocket, put it in your bra, ladies. Uh huh. Wear the rose quartz, okay? You could have a gold pendant necklace as well. The color green, you can wear the color green 
today as well. Uh-huh. That's the heart chakra. If you're wanting to work on that heart chakra energy, we'll pull six of these. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Unfinished business is here. Somebody feels like they have unfinished business. They did not finish painting their Picasso of you, okay? More cards for Libra. Thank you. Shattered, okay? It came out in the reverse. I'm going to put it in the upright because I really don't use these in the reverse. But something is shattered. But this is telling me that somebody wants to fix something that has been shattered, okay? You clarify them so it doesn't matter either way. <laughs> Follow your heart. Wow. Realville. Somebody needs to get on Realville. Exit 143. I love you. Cordis, Latin word for heart. Cordis Road, Realville. Follow your heart. Uh huh. Somebody needs to come up out of that um, dark energy that they had been surrounded in. And they're following their heart, okay? Because this pump of gas right here, don't be fooled. If you look close enough, it says evil, all right? So somebody is leaving a, a horrible situation is what I'm getting, okay? And they want to follow their heart into love. Yeah, that's it. Let's talk about it. Give us the shattered. No, give us the unfinished business. Unfinished business for Libra. Unfinished business for Libra. All right. Let's see what that is. I'll close this window. It's kind of chilly. Okay. Divine timing. Unfinished business, divine timing. Something is something's in the works is what I'm feeling, okay? Something is in the works when it comes to some unfinished business in the love sector, right? Give me the communication. What's the communicate? Oh, wait. We got one that flipped. And I saw it flip. I meant to look and see what it was. Wow. Wow. We got two that flipped. This separation between you and this person is triggering them. Yeah, this flipped when I was doing the shuffle and divine timing came out for unfinished, okay? Unfinished business. This separation is triggering someone. You're changing someone with your absence is what I'm getting. Change is happening. Synchronicities are happening too. You two are seeing numbers like 222. Two, two. You're seeing 808s. You're seeing 111s. Uh-huh. Yeah. And even 444s, four, four, 44s. Last week for me, 44 was heavy. I mean, it was like the universe saying, uh, come on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're, you being separated from this energy is triggering for this energy, okay? Communication is here. Tell us about the love. Tell us about the love, spirit. Give me the love. The love. Thank you. Okay, we got three cards that shout out. Manipulation. Four cards. Manipulation. Breakups and makeups boundaries and robotic okay somebody's being manipulated or someone wants to manipulate your person into being in this energy of returning to something that has been broken uh-huh they're being strung along or they have been being strung along like a puppet right when it comes to someone they were dealing with where they constantly break up and make up and break up and make up. And as we can see, you could put all the crazy glue you want on this plate is broke. Okay. So they created some boundaries. Someone is finally putting some boundaries up. Okay. Because they're tired of being in this robotic state, doing the same thing over and over and over again. They're done with that energy. It's not serving them. Okay. It's not serving you either, but know your worth. 
Your person is trying to find out their worth. They're figuring out their worth. This could be you as well, okay? Knowing your worth in this energy. Spirit, give me romance. Romance. Libra. Mm. Codependency is here. Confusion. Somebody had it messed up, y'all. They did. Look, the energy of romance, when true romance exists and then codependency comes out, overall energy is confusion. Someone thought that codependency was a form of romance. They were confused in this energy. Someone is, look, this is what I'm getting. Someone is trying to manipulate your person into some romance, okay? And they're trying to lock them in. They're trying to keep them attached to them. And this is confusing, okay? It's causing confusion. This person may be asking for forgiveness in this energy. Yeah, you know, trying to butter somebody up to get back in the energy, right? Hmm. Communication is here. Give me communication. Detachment. Mm-hmm. So you could have detached from this energy when it came to communication because of the overall energy of drama. Nobody has time for that. And someone also detached from the communication when it comes to you because this was a friendship and it was something that brought drama or was drama behind you two having a friendship. Hmm. I split the deck. Wow. Yeah, it was drama behind that soulmate you met. Soulmate recognition. Some Wow. And behind it is passion. Somebody had a lot of passion for you. They recognized they found a soulmate, okay? I always like to point out her tattoo of the infinity sign. Uh-huh. This is something from a, another lifetime. This is something in every lifetime. Yeah, and definitely passion between you two. Someone detached from that, okay? Because it was bringing some drama. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But they found their soulmate in you, Okay. So let's talk about it. Let's see what's going on. Let's go ahead and get. Mm, we're going to go ahead and pull a couple of emotionals out and then pull some from the tarot. Just a quick breakfast. Uh huh. Quick breakfast. Spirit, give me cards for Libra. Libra's energy. What's going on in the energy today? This Kazemi energy. What's going on? True emotion. True emotions. What's going on with my Libras? going to pull a few of these. Libra. What does Libra need to know? What does Libra need to know? Okay. Something flip. Mm -hmm. What else? All right. What else? Thank you, Spirit. All right. I'll stop right there. This is what spirit wants you to know. This is what came out. Happily single, doing you, dating, stress-free, setting goals, and career focus, okay? This is what's taking place in the energy. This is what is here for you to take part in, right? 
There's a firestorm happening. Karma, drama, endings, loss, and mental breakdowns. Yeah, that's happening in the energy, not for you. It's happening for the karmics, okay? Shocking news, okay? You could receive some shocking news about someone, something that happened or took place, uh-huh. Yeah, somebody is a jackass. They're a jackass, uh-huh. And they have karmic ties that actually present a lot of danger for them. Queen B is here, secure, confident, boss, bitch, and career focus. That's where it's at. That's where it's at, beautiful ones, okay? That's the true emotions for today. Let's go ahead and we're going to use the tarot scopes, okay? The tarot scopes, all right? Spirit, give me cards for Libra. Cards for Libra. What's going on in this energy, Spirit? Thank you, Libra. Esprit. Oh, that's too many. I like the way them came out. More cards. More card spirit. Mm. Only two of these flip. It's too many. Just one card. Okay, let's talk about it. Let's see what's going on in the energy for my beautiful Libras. All right. Beautiful ones, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, share. If this is your first time here, mm -hmm. welcome to the dynasty, home of the diamonds, beautiful ones. We got the page of coins out here. Definitely some manifestation is taking place in the energy, okay? Mm -hmm. This is earth energy, Capricorn and Taurus, as well as... Um, I don't know why I just went blank. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Virgo energy as well. Eight of Cups, Judgment, Ten of Swords, Eight of Swords, Page of Swords, The Sun, okay, and the Six of Cups. What I'm seeing is, look, there's some a lot of manifestation happening in this energy, okay? And... There is someone walking away, going towards something better, okay? This is life-changing for someone, okay? Uh-huh. This is someone doing something that they've never done before. But this is judgment that's here. And what I see from this judgment is this phoenix that is rising. Uh-huh. Someone had to go through some things is what I'm getting in order to come out stronger and more powerful. In this judgment. Ten of Swords is here. This is a painful ending, right? Eight of Swords is here. Somebody being trapped in their head. Mm-hmm. Page of Swords is here. They definitely watching. Uh-huh. They definitely watching you. And the sun is here. This is about everything being exposed and being able to sit in this blissful, happy place, right? Uh-huh. Joy. That follows you. Six of Cups is here. This is someone nostalgic in your energy from the past. Mm -hmm. Could be a past life, love, returning, or who has returned. Overall energy is the magician in reverse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sitting in hermit energy. So, you know, you have possible a energy of a Scorpio or a Gemini who is feeling some type of way. Uh-huh. Yeah. This is air energy 
you are the magician, but this is a magician in reverse who's in hermit mode. Mm, this is someone who is evidently mad because they're not getting their way. It could be a queen of wands because that's who is in hermit mode underneath the hermit. A queen of wands who's a magician in reverse. Uh-huh. A page of wands trying to create something when it comes to what? <laughs> the world. When it comes to closing out a cycle. Somebody doesn't want something to end, okay? Right? Give me the page of coins. Somebody from someone's past is holding on for dear life, I just heard, okay? Nine of Swords. This is being caught up in the head. This is being stuck in the head. So somebody's manifesting, and this is someone stuck in their head. Hmm. Nine of Cups, about a Nine of Cups energy, about a wish fulfillment. Give me the Nine of Swords. Give me the Nine of Swords. Thank you. Six of Swords. Yeah, they want to move forward in this energy. Somebody definitely wants to move forward into calmer waters. They're being guided. Uh-huh. Because the death is in the energy. Something ended in the energy. Okay. Yeah. Remember, a death is here for the rebirth, right? Give me the Eight of Cups, Spirit. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. Queen of Swords, here you go. Mm -hmm. You had to walk away from whatever was, you know, trying to hold you back or not holding you down, okay? Yeah, Queen of Swords is here. Overall energy, you could have walked away from a Leo energy, strength. However it is, you walked away in strength, okay? You didn't walk away weak. Give me judgment. Judgment. Okay. Five of Swords. Yeah, judgment is here. If someone wants to put these swords down, yeah, they stand defeated. That's the judgment. The judgment is you win. Uh huh. That's it. Give me Five of Swords with the judgment. Um. Oh. Six of Wands. <laughs> you win. Like I said, Six of Wands. You win. Okay. Straight like that. Ten of Swords, Spirit. Ten of Swords. Okay. Three of Swords. This is heartbreak. Ten of Swords. It was a painful ending and it was heartbreaking. It was, okay? This is your energy. Both of them. Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords. Painful ending and it broke some of your hearts, right? But this lion is still here. Strength, okay? Eight of Swords is here. Give me the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords for Libra. All right. It's the Eight of Wands. Somebody wants to send a love message your way. They want something to happen. <clears throat> Excuse me. Quicken the energy. This Eight of Swords energy is about being trapped, you know, in a mental imprisonment. All right. But someone is in a mental imprisonment when it comes to wanting to make some type of communication or even air travel with this Eight of Wands here. Okay. Beautiful ones. Mm. Give me the page of swords. Who's watching? Page of swords. Who's watching? All right. Three of coins. Someone who wants to collaborate with you. Yeah. That's who's watching. Mm -hmm. Look at that rose quartz crystal. Uh-huh. Yeah. Three of coins is here. Who's watching you is someone that wants to collaborate with you. And that's the truth. Overall energy is the Ace of Swords. Spirit, give us the sun. Give us the sun for today. Give us the sun. Okay. Temperance in reverse. Okay. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> this could either be a, a Sagittarius who is unbalanced are just imbalancing in the energy when it comes to the sun. Yeah, someone's being exposed. Mm-hmm. Could be a Sagittarius. There's an exposure happening when it comes to someone's imbalances, okay? Give me the temperance in reverse with the sun. Overall, energy is a higher fan. So, <clears throat> they're being outed by sources when I'm getting Ace of Coins. New beginning. Okay, when it comes to prosperity. 
So whoever it was from the past who was imbalancing your energy, look, everything, everybody's seen just how imbalanced they are, okay? Whether they're a Sagittarius energy or not. It's a temperance angel in reverse. And we know that a fallen angel is a devil. Mm -hmm. So this ace of coins is here. This is a new beginning when it comes to your energy. And that's why the sun is here. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> look, and... Asa Swartz is here again. That's the truth. I split the deck. Seven of Cups is here. Okay. You could have so many different opportunities and possibilities that are lined up for you now with the Seven of Cups energy. You're sitting in the Ace of Coins. This is that prosperity, that abundance that actually awaits you, that sits in your energy. You know? <clears throat> yeah. Give me the Six of Cups. Thank you, Spirit. Thanks. Mm -hmm. A King of Wands. Someone from your past. That's a Sagittarius energy. Came out crossing, right? So they're crossed, right? You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, okay? Our fire sign. Leo, our Aries energy. Who is someone from the past? Tell us about the King of Wands from the past. <laughs> justice is here yeah some balance is being made in the energy karma whatever you want to call it justicia uh-huh with the queen of cups okay you was the queen of cups of this energy all right they could be involved with a water sign your fire sign could be dealing with a water sign who the both of them are receiving justice that's what i got the both of them are receiving justice. Somebody has a fire placement and a water placement, and they're getting it. Mm -hmm. They're getting it. They're getting it good, I just heard. Mm -hmm. These are people from the past. These are the people under the stairs. That's what I like to call them, okay? The people under the stairs. Overall energy, I can't make it up. It's an empress. They're getting it. Yeah, justice is here. Ah, uh, they don't know what's happening in the cosmos. Like, let me just, four of coins when I split the deck. This is someone holding on to your energy, holding on tight. Nevertheless, with this justice card out here, they have to hold on tight to everything they have because this frugal veal where they're at, they are... You know, shaking pennies in a jar. Uh-huh. Might even be dancing out in front of McDonald's to get an extra buck and a Big Mac. Yeah. This is about somebody who, you know, messed up their money. Four coins. They're holding on tight. They have to be frugal. And there is the energy of wanting to hold on to this Ace of Cups of Love at the same time. Like, you holding on to love. Mm. What's the justice? What's the justice? Tell us about the fairness that comes in for Libra. The fairness. Thank you. Eight of Coins. Yeah, when it comes to your work, your business, your skill, your skill set. Uh-huh. Overall energy, uh-huh, this is your money, uh-huh, this is the luck, this is the justice. Your finances will be brought into balance. Whatever it is that you do to make money is going to bring balance in, okay? And three of cups is here. You have time to celebrate. You're being told to celebrate in this energy. There's a knight of cups that's here. This is a new love that wants to come in and celebrate with you. Is what I'm getting for the overall energy. Uh-huh. I split the deck. Ten of coins. Yeah, that's what they want. They want a dynasty. They want a legacy when it comes to you. Hmm. And they don't want to give up in this energy. Nine of wands behind the ten of cups when I split it, right? Let's talk about it. Mm. This ace of coins is here. This three of swords. Spirit, give us the outcome of the three of swords. Give us the outcome of this three of swords. Energy for my Libras. I'll come for the thank you. Hmm. 
four of coins. It came out in reverse. So this four of coins energy, this is a missed opportunity. Oh, excuse me. This four of coins energy is with this three of swords. What I'm getting is beautiful ones, you know, in your journey of heartbreak, okay? And we've all gone through heartbreak to some degree, okay? In this journey of heartbreak that you've gone through with this Three of Swords energy here, it was painful, of course, right? But this Four of Coins that comes out in the reverse, this is telling me that this is openness. You're being told to open your heart. Look, Four of Coins in reverse can be some reckless spending it could be financial insecurity as well, right? As well as just spending, just blowing a bag, okay? But it's also openness, like being open. You have to, you know, cat open the bag, right? Uh-huh. Who let the cat out the bag? It's about being open. You're being told to open your heart. Even though you've gone through that heartbreak, you're being told to open your heart. Okay? And that's the only way you're going to let love in and close the cycle. Overall energy is the world here. You're being told to open your heart and close that cycle from the past, beautiful ones. Tell us more. Tell Libra more about the four of coins in reverse. Tell Libra more about the four of coins in reverse with the three of swords. It's the only way to heal the heart, beautiful ones. Three of wands is here. It's the only way to have the heart expand. This is expansion and this is Jupiter. This is you being in alignment with your expansion. Uh-huh. Even possible travels and you waiting on some ships to come in as well. Overall energy is a knight of coins. This is someone manifesting in your energy. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And you see... He's taking care of his flower. It's like he's grooming the flower. A knight of coins. This is an offer that is coming in, but it's something that takes time. You have to nurture it. It's being nurtured in this energy. I split the deck to the lovers. Look, y'all know what time it is. Okay? Yeah. Let's get another pull out here because definitely <laughs> this read is nice. I like it. Uh-huh. I hope you guys enjoyed his breath, his beautiful ones. I'm going to go ahead and close out, but let's go ahead and close out with the Queen of Swords. Messages for the Queen of Swords. Messages for the Queen of Swords. Messages for Libra. Messages for the Queen of Swords. Close out with messages. Thank you. We're taking the ones that flip. And it's <clears throat> both your energy, excuse me. Knight of Swords and the Two of Swords. Wow. There's a Knight of Swords energy who wants to make a decision, who is making a decision when it comes to being assertive, saying what's on their mind, speaking the truth to a Queen of Swords, okay? Yeah. Two of Swords energy with the Knight of Swords. Let's check the overall energy and close out. Overall energy is the Nine of Coins. Yeah, they need to say something to this Nine of Coins energy, okay? Because you out here single and living your best life, all right? Or at least placing yourself in energy to live your best life. They're in hermit mode and isolation, having some soul searching happening when it comes to this Nine of Coins energy that you are. Beautiful ones, this is your breakfast. I'll be back in the evening. You all have a beautiful day. I am Empress 444. Hit the like button, subscribe, become a part of this beautiful dynasty. Peace and love.